Hey, what's up, my crimes and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. So today we are going to be having a discussion. Okay, we are going to be talking about the recent things that has been going on with Krishan Rock and the whole incident. Um, you know, I already spoke about majority of it in another video, but now Krishan spoke up. We also got James, um, James Wright coming out saying what he got to say. We are going to get into some comments and we are going to be talking about the recent things with Krishan. You know, with her deactivating her stuff and things of that nature. And I'm going to talk about it. I'm tired. Okay. It is Monday. And I'm already over the day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of things that I got to take care of. A lot of things that I got to do. Um, That's coming, you know, up. And I'm going to try to get my videos out as much as I can. So y'all already know the whole incident with Krishan at the Tamar concert and her being drunk and acting a fool on the stage. And people was wondering, why the heck is she even up there? Because Tamar and Krishan audience is not the same thing. OK, now I understand that Tamar wanted to bring her out, show her off a little bit, get a little bit of attention or whatever. And call it a day. She wanted to let everybody know that it's her little sis. OK, and that's basically what I was getting out of it. I didn't see anything from, you know, what Tamar was saying or the energy of a performance coming up or any of that, because right at that instance, Tamar was trying to get singers to go up there so they could have their little, you know, little contest or whatever that they was doing to sing in Tamar songs. Now, <clears throat> Krishan speaks out. So we are going to get into what she had to say about the incident and i'm gonna let y'all know this right now just the way she's talking and the, her energy the, the way she's explaining things is like girl shish shish up okay it just don't even sound believable you know what i'm saying she doesn't even know what words to say she, if you didn't do something you would know for sure and have the confidence to know to say that you didn't do anything okay it's like she was beating around the bush not to say exactly you know, what the allegations were on her and stuff like that. She just kept saying this and this and that. Let's just get into the video clip, okay? But I was supposed to perform, and that was that. Uh, oh, the more famous I get, the more tricky this shit get. Like, usually when I get invited out to a perform at a show, I let you say it. Like, oh, yeah, okay, you're going to perform after this set, blah, blah, like Sexy Red. Glorilla, like, not like that, but I've been brought out before, and I know how it goes a certain way. Um, I did have my team there, uh, but it wasn't like we was in her room together. I went alone and stuff, so, uh, yeah, y'all saw how I was on live. I was by myself. I wasn't with my team. My team was outside waiting, just waiting until, I don't know, it was time to work, you know, so... That's what that happened. All this other false narrative saying this happened. She did that. I don't know what that I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So honestly I have to start protecting my name when I I don't know. I don't know how you step in situations like that. So um it had nothing to do with Tamar. Uh it was some other like the guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together. He didn't put anything together, and I never talked to him. Um, I directly talked to Tamar. She communicated that I could come out, and that was that. Uh, I don't know who that guy is because I never talked to him. The guy that got that he not gay, but he like whatever. He like boys. Him. I don't know how you say. I don't want to be rude, like, cause I'm not. All right. So to sum it up in a nutshell, she's basically saying that. The narratives is going around, false narratives going around, and she don't know what's going on, and it's a clout moment, and this and this and that. Girl, stop using excuses for yourself all the time. It's not nothing. If you didn't do anything, you would have a little bit more confidence. You would come out. You would actually speak on your behalf instead of looking lost and confused about what's going on. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So if it was me, I'm like, listen, I don't know what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? I did not touch James. I did not punch anybody. I did not do nothing that people are saying about me. Okay, and if you have any footages or any type of proof, just come forward with it because I know for sure I didn't do anything, so I'm standing on that. Like, have a little bit more confidence. You have confidence when you're talking about Blueface or Jane and Alexis or, you know, you speaking out on people talking about you and stuff like this and you always want to play the victim. 
But now it's just really giving like, oh, I'm just going to say people are using me for clout. So, you know, that could be an excuse because, you know, a lot of people out here want clout and stuff like this and this and that. Knowing you be putting yourself in certain situations. Now, is there footage? Is there and every other? That's what I said. There's always sides of a story. I'm just looking. I'm the outsider looking in. The way she's explaining to me, in my opinion, it sounds cat. She don't have no confidence in her responses or no none of that. Okay, it just looks weird. And then she's drunk. You can tell she was drunk. She was acting a damn fool on the stage, and that's footage just right there to show that she was not all the way sober. She didn't have her mindset all the way there, and you know. It probably did happen. You know what I'm saying? And that's not nothing shocking or news to us to know that Krishan is just out here punching people because this is not the first or the last or the second or third. She does this. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, this just is how I feel about it. L hearing people's side of the stories, the only people that we heard so far is LaTroy. He came out, the one that, you know, said he ran, you know, put the, the concert together and stuff like that with Tamar. Tamar's best friend, Lee Troy. he came out and he was the first one to say something. Then James came out and said something. Okay, Tamar did not come out and say anything as of yet. Do not know why, because those are your friends. Okay, now if it's a legal thing, then okay, but those are your friends. You'll speak out. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it ain't nothing to you know say your truth, say what happened. Okay, so if your friends are lying, is that the reason why you're not saying anything? You don't want to be a part of it or what? Like what is going on? Because something is not right. You know what I'm saying? Um. On Tamar's end. I don't know if she's being fake to her friends. Because clearly. She not even following um, Lee Troy. And that's her best friend. Lee Troy not even following her. They not even following each other. You know so that's weird in itself. Maybe Lee Troy unfollowed her. Because he like girl you are my best friend. And you not even speaking out on my behalf. And letting people know what's going on. I will unfriend you too. And I will be <laughs> putting you in a little back corner right there. You're in timeout. Because what is going on you know. If that's the case on what's going on, because they're not following each other. So at the end of the day, let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Now, when I listen to Lee Troy and how he explained it, that is a person that is explaining something with confidence. The way that he's talking, it, it, it sounds, you know, like it, it actually happened. You know what I'm saying? Because the things that he's saying, you can actually like think about it. You know, when somebody's saying something, you can actually picture it going on. When you listen to Krishan, it's just like, girl, what are you even talking about? Like, what are you saying? Like, we're not getting nothing from this. We're not getting you're innocent. We're not getting this. We're not getting none of that. So that's just how I feel about the situation and what's going on. We are going to look into another footage that was circulating online um, with Krishan clearly harassing one of Tamar's backup singers. OK, and I'm gonna let y'all know this right now, because I know I've seen a lot of people in the comments talking about some. Oh, she just, you know, some people just want to, you know, front on her and act like they don't like her and, and just try to do this and try to do that and try to provoke her and stuff like that. Do y'all not know that this woman is standing here minding her business, trying to listen to the speech that Lee Troy is giving about Tamar while Krishan is drunk? Next to this woman, putting her hand on her, trying to be all up in her space. You could tell, you could clearly tell when a person does not want anybody around them or they want their space. Krishan does not know how to read the room. Okay, she think because she's Krishan Rock that she could do whatever she want to do, be around whoever she want to be around, and put her hands or arms or legs on whoever she want to do. You cannot do that. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to get the right one one day, and then you're going to be like, okay, I can't be doing this no more. Okay. Let's just look at the clip. And so we got you this cake, this love and war cake. We're so proud of you that you believe in yourself. And then uh, you don't let anybody hold you down. They got pineapple in you. And, uh, and so, uh, y'all have never been to Tamar's house, but I have. And... There's something that's missing at her house on her walls. And so as successful as she's been, she doesn't have any gold or platinum plaques. In her. All right. So y'all see, she basically was going like this because she probably was saying like, look, I have to stay in front of the mic. I'm about to sing or I have to. This is my space or whatever. She was telling her shush because, you know, Krishan, she'll just keep talking and talking and think that, you know, the other person is the wrong person. And she's just in the right. And she, oh, my God, these people are just starting stuff with me. And ugh, the girl clearly did not want you touching her. She was trying to pay attention. Clearly, people was just annoyed with her at this point because she already acted a fool on the stage. She's doing a whole bunch of stuff. She, 
and we are just seeing a little bit. So I'm pretty sure these people, the backup singers, Tamar and everybody that was actually there, seen more than we did. We're only seeing what people are allowed, you know, to put on the Internet. And I just feel like that's weird. She know how to read the room. She need to lay off the liquor, do what she need to do and try to clean up her image because it's not looking cute. All right. So basically, Lee Troy had put out um, a text messages and basically, you know, it was between Chris Sean's managers and Lee Troy just to get the passes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he also said people always say stop giving things attention. But when it happens to them, they want to throw a whole press conference. OK, so he basically like people were just saying, just leave it alone, just sweep it under the rug. And he don't want to do that. He want to hold Krishan accountable, which a lot of people do not. You know what I'm saying? She's already on probation. Do not know how that's going. Maybe that's the reason why she came on live and tried to have an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> because she knows she probably about to go ching ching under the jail. I don't know. All right. So, um, so basically, um, Latroy was like, so like I said, he was attacked and bruised, and y'all making excuses for Krusty Krusty Shans, whatever he say her name was. All right, he said something else. Um, and then nah, he probably needs cash at because com um compliance hit him and messed up his tooth. So basically. People was online like, oh, James is putting up his cash app and it's all a clout chasing moment. He's begging for money and this and this and that. Yeah, act like people don't put their cash app on all of their platforms. This is not nothing new. OK, maybe he don't want to pay out of pocket to fix his tooth and maybe he needs he maybe he wants somebody else's money to help him. Who knows? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody put out a cash app after an incident or a situation going on does not mean that it's any less of truth. You know what I'm saying? And if anybody is lying, Lee Troy, James, or, you know, if they are lying on that behalf and it is a cloud chasing moment and just try to bring Krishan down, that will come to the light and they will get the backlash. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it is what it is. We are going to listen to a little bit of what um, James had to say. Okay, he definitely pinned that cash app. Okay, he's like, listen, send me the coins. Okay, because oh, he also was saying that um he put up his cash app and stuff like that because he had to miss days out of work. Okay, so basically that money is just you know compensating him for missing those days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me get my check. And while I'm sitting here bruised up, allegedly his face is bruised up, chipped tooth, whatever is going on over there, he had to miss work. That is what he's saying while the cash app was up there. Just listen to this clip. I still got jokes. Let me tell you what ain't nobody going to do. Ain't nobody going to take my joy. Ain't nobody going to take my praise. Ain't nobody going to take my worship. It, I just did it, Troy. Ain't nobody gonna take my worship and let me tell you the crazy thing in this whole situation y'all should see my face and i still got joy so here he's like you should see my face he, you know nobody's gonna bring me down and this and this and that as he should you know what i'm saying if this happened and you know he don't want to show his face he probably don't want to let that bring him down and stuff like that because not everybody is living the same lifestyle like krishan just in here fighting people just because you don't like what's being said or whatever it's not going your way People don't, a lot of people out here that's mature and live a different lifestyle does not move like that. So it's definitely kind of probably different. And it's Tamar's issue and Tamar's responsibility for bringing her around her people, knowing how her people are and knowing how Krishan is. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, this all falls down on Tamar because she is the one who invited her to this concert. So Tamar, you need to speak up. Okay, because you're looking like a fool also right now. And that's just basically what it is. So, um, Tony, they got a, you know, a video of Tony Braxton looking at Krishan because Krishan was, I guess, twerking. And Tony was looking at her like, girl, what in the heck is going on over here? And Tamar was like, ee, 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 like, like, you know, it's like more of embarrassment. I see the people faces around Krishan that was around Tamar and stuff like that. And it was just like. It wasn't, it just wasn't the setting for that. You know what I'm saying? And then in the video, she like, well, I know how it is when Sexy and Glorilla, you know, um, pull me out. That is not a club event. That is not a ratchet rapping, um, you know, environment. That's not what it was. This is not a twerk fest. You know what I'm saying? That's Tamar's concert. That's two different brackets. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Tamar bringing you out. Compared to a, a sexy red or glorilla, just don't add up. 
Okay, there had to be some type of miscommunication when it comes to Krishan thinking that she really was going to go on Tamar's concert and perform. She really thought that she was going to have that moment. Why would you be singing Rob all the time in a Tamar concert? That sounds dumb. So I don't even understand why Krishan would even think that or why anybody would have her think that. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. So basically, Krishan says, I got to work on... um. To not give my energy and clout to my enemy. She always using clout as a thing. As if she doesn't go on this internet all the time begging for clout. Come on. You do the things that you do for clout. Okay. So you can't talk about people wanting clout when you're the clout chaser too. Please don't believe false narratives. I had a great time last night. Just because you had a great la great time last night in your behalf on your side does not mean everybody around you had a great night. Clearly people around you did not have a great night. Because you was embarrassing. Okay. Let's just get into some of these comments. Tony is thinking, damn, Tamar just hang with anybody. Twerking in front of Tony Braxton is crazy. She needs to read the room. Everybody at this show was twice her age. Save the bull crap for the club bookings. Okay. Laugh out loud. Read the room, Krishan. They are your elders. You can't do that everywhere, baby. Just be cool. Tony gave her that Libra look of judgment and disgust. The Braxtons don't know how to hide their expressions for nothing. Okay, y'all, I just can't stop laughing at her expression. This is why Tony don't be coming around. Tamar face is instant regret. Tony face is utter disgust. Her lips read, oh my God, baby, please don't do that. Tony is engaged to Birdman, so I think she okay with ghetto. Tony eyes said, this is not Zeus. This was Krishan's chance to start trying to change her image. But she blew it. You gave little sis a chance. She's not ready. Okay, so these are just some of the um things. Also, Krishan says, my thing is, um, hold on. She also is letting everybody know that she is going to be deactivating all her pages. She's saying she love y'all. See y'all later. God bless. Right. And she's saying she's changing her number and she's going to be changing her address, meaning she's going to be moving. Okay. Now she did deactivate her Instagram or her Twitter and that's fine. Okay. She does need a little break because I don't know if it's because of legal reasons that she think that she's going to deactivate her socials as if whatever happened didn't happen. I don't know what's going on. She's not going to be um, away for very long because she needs the clout. She needs people talking. She needs that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's basically what she's, you know, revolved around. Clout. Okay. The things that she does, the negative things that she does bring the clout. So let's just see how this goes. Let's just see how long it takes for her to activate her pages back. Okay. We are going to see. Hopefully she take this little time off the social media to actually get things done, work on herself and stop drinking. OK, now, um, basically, somebody has sent me, you know, this super core of California or whatever. This is basically um, <laughs> Necro Baddies Club premiere and only tiny Zeus. <laughs> OK, this is when she hit the uh, stylist or whatever. Yeah, this is when she hit the stylist or whoever the person was. And, you know, she had a, um, a case on that. It's just like this girl has case after case and put herself in situations. And then she starts blaming everybody else. Girl, you need to learn how to control yourself. You need to go to anger management. You need to have some type of coping skills. You need to see something. You're saying you're seeing a therapist, but clearly something, nothing is going on. You're not really taking it serious because you're still doing the same stuff. Okay. Now, my thing is this. Um, do I really care? I really don't care. That's her business. That's something that she's going to have to deal with. We are just discussing what is going on. Okay. Now, how do y'all feel about Krishan deactivating her stuff? And how long do you think that's going to last? How do y'all think? What y'all think is going on with the situation? Do you think that Krishan really assaulted James? Okay. And if you do not think that, and, and not the rock turds, because automatically y'all going to think that she ain't do anything wrong. She never do nothing wrong. So this does not apply to the rock turds, not the obsessed, delusional ones that do too much. Me talking about the ones that be like, okay, well, where's the proof? Because me, I'm the same way. I'm going by the stories and I'm a little bit leaning towards um, Lee Troy and them because their story sounds a little bit more believable. 
besides Krishan coming out the way she and her energy is just like she's like not caring. She's just coming out to say so she won't get in trouble. She's just trying to save her ass. That's how I'm looking at it, okay? And this is not because, oh, uh, you just don't like her. Yeah, she's very annoying. I don't like the way she moves. I don't like the way that she does things. Nobody holds accountable for it, but she always play victim and everybody just like, oh, my God, she's a baby. She's not a baby, okay? So let me know how y'all feel about the situation down in the comments below. Um, I said everything that I needed to say about this, so make sure y'all stay tuned because once things start circulating or, you know, any type of court cases or anything type of, you know, what's going on, any type of lawsuits or anything, I will be coming and talking about it, okay? So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure y'all, you know, run my videos up on YouTube, okay? Because it got to go up. And I'm going to let y'all know a little bit because I am planning on doing something. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have that much you know, to go on to make the YouTube videos and stuff like that. I'm going to have to work around it. But right now, y'all going to get the videos. But I will let y'all know what my plans are and how that's going to be looking. So make sure y'all stay tuned and make sure y'all support your girl, okay? Because YouTube be playing around. So if y'all want to cash at me, my cash app is the same name as my YouTube, Etoxic Teen Lounge. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you for your support. I love y'all. And until then, toodaloo. Gotta be different you must be made for